Okay, Sherry. We're okay. talking all things summer fun yes. this week, right? Sunshine and happiness. Sunshine, lollipops, and roses this <laughs> week. What do you have in mind for us? Well, it didn't start out as this. Okay. <laughs> so first of all, you have to know that. Um, I was thinking of some summer things and I had an idea. Maybe I shouldn't tell you. But Don't tell yeah, them that idea. Because maybe eventually it'll be born. But anyway, I had an idea and it just kind of morphed. And it morphed like four or five times um, until this came out. And you guys know I kind of like to steal other people's patterns and like jump on them and see what comes out of them. <laughs> she sent me this picture and I was like, are you joking? <laughs> so we have, I want you guys to all meet. Should we do it? Clicky fish. <laughs> now wait. <laughs> and clicky fish. Tell us about clicky, clicky fish. fish. For those of you that did the click it bags. Okay. Oh, does that look familiar? There it is. There's the clicky bag. Yep, yeah, there's the click it, click it bag. Oh, the click it bag. Click it bag. But now we have clicky fish. <laughs> and Sherry, what would I use clicky fish for? Well, other than just being totally adorable, right? <laughs> no, not colicky fish. Yeah, clicky, clicky. fish. Oh, I bet if you have the subtitles on, it's C L I C K Y, <laughs> clicky. <laughs> Someone wrote colicky fish. No, he's not colicky. He's clicky. Like... <laughs> anyway, so this was this was the first one. And then we had to kind of get into fish colors a little bit more. So we have like a little green one. My son says this one has derby eyes because they're kind of wide. Oh. And there's and then and then we had to go like another step. And so we have <laughs> The two-tone two clicky fish. Hold on. I'm just going to... Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hold on. This one's a little heavier. <laughs> Open it up for him. What's inside? <laughs> <laughs> There's actual fish There's in the fish. There's actual fish in the fish. Oh, my gosh, fish. Sherry. So... There is little clicky fish. There's clicky fish. But you're like, mm, it's cute, but what? What? What am I going to do with that? How many of you have a family reunion this year? Who has or a family reunion? A school party. Or an end of school party. Or <laughs> he's a cannibal. <laughs> he's a cannibal. Well, fish they do are. other fish. <laughs> fish are fish are friends, friends, not food. <laughs> So, I, yeah, I don't, it's kind of a dory fish. You could. You totally could do those fish. I thought this was so yeah. cute. Yeah, the little <laughs> the the polka eyes. dot fish. <laughs> okay, but what could you use it for? What? Yeah, I know. Okay, so when I was designing this, it was a fish, and then it morphed into the cl clicky fish because I was like, what if? You could catch him on a pole and he could be used in your fish pond like your carnival type game fish pond like remember a fish pond i do i don't know <laughs> i just don't remember the last time i saw a fish pond um, was mine was just before COVID. oh really so, yes like a school well, carnival yes so my son for his Eagle Scout project oh, okay. actually built carnival games and we went down to the refugee center that down in Salt Lake cute. and we did their back to school stuff. And oh, nice. they've been used like four or five times since then. That's awesome. So we don't have a fish pond, but we have access to a fish pond and then he's got a bunch of games. So, I mean, carnival games aren't too far out of our family <laughs> realm, <laughs> but so... I could not find my little fishing pole. I have one. Oh. But I could not find it. So we have a magnet. Do, do, right. Do. So you're going to see, like, here's your little fish. Imagine your little chillins dropping their magnet in there. Wah, wah, wah. And then they get to look and see what the fish 
has for them. Their little prize. It can be their little you know, prize will be in a little the little treat, a little bouncy ball, a little goldfish. I love <laughs> goldfish and the fish. Yeah, it's fine. More cannibalism. Whatever you want to teach them. <laughs> whatever you want to do. But isn't that fun? So this is just. This isn't like a super strong magnet. I probably would have one a little that was bigger pretty, magnet. Yeah, especially if you wanted to. Is this one? Will this one this is one full. Yeah. So he's not going to. But that's really full. That's really full. <laughs> really full of a fish. fish. So if we did just one. Oh, yeah. He'd pick up one. He'd probably even pick Here. up two. Up higher. Up higher. Up oh, up sorry. Up. Oh. So. Cute. So you can see there. Neighborhood block party idea. There you go. Love it. An awesome neighborhood block party idea. Yes. Yeah. Do this. Get to know your neighbors. Yes. Isn't that a great idea? I want to hear back. Yes. I want to see your fish. I want to see your fish too. All right. So. A little matchbox car would fit in it. Yeah. 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 So cute. Yeah. So. All right. So tell us more about it. Well, or do you want your surprise? <laughs> <laughs> oh. I thought the fish in the fish was going to be the well, surprise. I thought there was one of these in there. So, <laughs> Allie, 342. 342 Allie. Took some pictures. Okay. And they're cute. They're on, when it's listed, you'll see those. Oh, is that what we have on here? Yes. Okay. So, Allie took the pictures and we were talking and we had brought, some of them have worms in their mouths. So, oh. here's a worm. Here's a good okay. one. Okay. Because you guys are about to discover Johnny has his talents. Johnny can sing and Johnny, Johnny can dance, <laughs> Johnny can quilt, but this is Sherry. my talent right here okay. and you get to try it. So you're going to pop this in your mouth I get tightened. and tighten it a knot. <laughs> Are you ready for this? Mm. Do you see it? Do you see the knot? <laughs> I can't do it. So there it is. So after you go fishing, you have another game to play. <laughs> you can't chew it. I can't. <laughs> You'll never get in oh, a knot love, if you chew it. <laughs> I love gummy worms. Well, I had a whole package of those yeah. last night. Did you? Well, here, well you, can, you can keep trying. I just found a way to keep him quiet. <laughs> <laughs> So, <laughs> I think Johnny ate his. <laughs> Hold on. Did I miss Johnny doing Does It Fit? Oh! Oh! Yes, it'll fit. It'll fit. <laughs> Sherry's what laughing. What else do we have around here? We have marshmallows oh, I just found in the studio. They'll fit. They'll fit. Will it fit? Yes. <laughs> you so, guys know me too well. Give Johnny food, he'll eat it. <laughs> yep. He will. Swedish fish. I could have brought some of those, but my family ate the whole bag. We're we're good. <laughs> but we had the the little juju fish. I really love gummy products of all kinds. Let's see, a little juju. Oh. There's more of those. <laughs> so, yes. Do not eat the sugar-free ones. <laughs> Why? You have to kind of. Is that for in intestinal discomfort? Oh. <laughs> well, Chris talks about this all the time on here. So we'll just go ahead and say it. Maybe that might explain some things today. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. I've never wet my pants in the airport. Okay. That's all I'm gonna say. Or at the dentist. Or at the dentist. Yeah. You guys. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> hey, Chris, are you watching? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> it went away. You guys, sorry. <laughs> Thanks, frankly, we appreciate <laughs> speaking the truth. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> so, 
<laughs> it was oh. a really bad night. Okay. It's a really bad. You don't night. want to go there, do you? No. Nope. So where are you going? I'm sure show you better. Oh, it's fine. <laughs> so make the fishes <gasps> wine Ooh, bottle size. Ooh, now there we go. <laughs> that would be fun. What could you put in the wine bottle size of the fishy? You could put the wine bottle. <laughs> You could still put stuff in it. You wouldn't be able to pick it up with a fit with a magnet, though. <laughs> a really strong magnet. Um, okay, so, sorry. <laughs> comments. You guys can read the comments on your own, and just we'll just give Johnny another gummy <laughs> worm, and we'll him, go on. <laughs> get, just make Johnny shut up for a minute. So, if you miss the click it bag thing it's okay like, how do we get the lips how do we get those lips so that that's are, the tricky part yeah that are not just magnetic sherry said will... we have to sew because there's a little tricky part yeah there is just a little tricky part so we're gonna go through it with you <laughs> just a little bit stop reading the comments <laughs> so first of all when i took my fabric and it gives you the size in the on the pattern um <laughs> I just sewed, I folded it and I sewed all the way across. And then I just put the pattern piece on there and I cut them out. So you have one like this for the body and one like this for the body. Now Cute. this is going to be a two-tone fish. Oh. So you can see what's going on here. That is cute. But this is the one that's a little bit tricky because we have this little cutout. And this is double-sided because we didn't want him to look real rough inside. Right. But... So that's what he looks like. So this is where your top fin of your fish is going to go. And your top fin looks like this. So I cut both of these pieces out first. And then I use the rest are just like scraps um, from kind of what's left over. Because you have a lot of big pieces like I think this came out of like right there type of a thing. Mm -hmm. um, and then just wherever. Because th there's the kind of the two big pieces, a medium piece, and three smaller pieces. So I'm like why use anything but scraps right but you do want to have some shape flex on this or some kind of um stabilizer just to help it stand up so that you don't have floppy fish instead of we don't fish. want floppy fish yeah because floppy fish this one sad. has a little bit of a um what do they call it when the dorsal fins bent i don't remember on the any on of the... you uh what's the word People who marine work in the ocean. Work. Yes, any marine <laughs> biologist watching. Yeah. Oh, that's so funny. on all of these pieces, what you're going to do is you just want to, because it says click, clip them. And some people are like, what does that mean? And you're just going to clip like this one right here. I'm going to clip. I don't want to clip the stitches, but I'm going to clip right on that corner so that when I turn it, it goes just a little bit better. On the curves, you'll just put a little clip just a straight line in. So that allows when those curved pieces um, are turning on the inside, mm -hmm. it allows them to move like yeah. that and overlap. So then you don't get like a, a wrinkle in there and a big bulk spot. So I'm just going to clip this. And then what do we use when we uh, turn things the right way? R and K turning tool. Yes. I love that. Watching thing. Chris snip the corners of the quilt, the mini quilt the other day, mm -hmm. I was like, Oh, like I usually just cut the yeah. So she'll cut across the top and then she'll like cut. she'll go like that. She'll do a little like that. Yep, yep. and then like that. Yep. yep. That woman. So she's a smarty yep, pants. Yeah, it's even taken a little bit more of that bulk out of that corner. Yeah, is why. So. Yeah. You could use pinking shears, absolutely, um, especially on like the fins that are round. So, but these are they're just little and they're not exact exact um i'm just going to so. give us some marine biologist history oh, okay fish is too big for the container if its dorsal fin is bent i did not know that hmm. well these fish won't be too big yes if you use some stabilizer <laughs> so use some stabilizer so you don't have a bent dorsal yeah. fin okay so on this you can either top stitch or you don't have to and I did on, it's easiest to see on this one. I did some top stitching and then I did some just like lines in the fins 
Um, Maybe not that one. <laughs> Maybe that, that one. That one's adorable. There we go. So it just gives it a little bit of character, but you don't Ooh. have to do that. But you see, that one didn't get top stitched. It just had the lines put in there. So mm. it's this is the heavy one. Design choice. So cute. Yeah. So I'm gonna top. Oh, Sherry. Top stitch this real quick so we can get him in there. Oh, do, you wanna... do I need to show? Hold on. Okay, Sherry set the machine. Oh dear. Can you even see? No. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that? Right there. Okay. So just we increased our stitch width a little bit. And then I get up here and then I just pivot and come back down. So that's all we're gonna do there. So come back here. So then this top fin is going to go into this piece. And that's that's where you kind of it's a little confusing. And so because I don't have my tape measure in here yet, I can just put it in. And so this is just going to poke up through here. Oh, okay. Let's see, how can we show this best? So there's that. This goes here, so the raw edges are on that side, and then this side folds over. And then we're just going to sew it closed. And this just gives our fish so he's not a flat fish. It gives him a little bit of poof and structure. So, and when I did this, I left it up a little bit just so that it, I could trim it back down. Uh -huh. Um, cause you have all the yucky fluffies and stuff like that. The raw edges. Yeah, on the there. raw edges. So I did this and we're just going to stitch across this. My stiletto. Can I use my stiletto? Yeah. Where's your stiletto by where Annie? There it is. We do have a R&K turning tool. Yeah, we do. The stiletto. I used it this week and I was surprised myself cause I, it wasn't when I thought I would use it. This one, you don't want your stitch bigger because you want it to hold it. All right, so we got that sewn. And after I did this, because this is the inside of your bag and you kind of want it to be nice, but we have some raw edges. So I just trimmed this off. Oh no, these are my own scissors, but they're my cut. The tape measure scissors. Oh, <laughs> so <laughs> like cut flowers. <laughs> no, it's to cut the tape measure scissors. I didn't want to be responsible here for something Good like job. that. So um, you have just kind of that, you know. There's not a lot of strings and stuff like that. And then I zigzagged this just so it helps finish that that little bit of the seam. You'll mm -hmm. have you'll have three inside seams like that. So right. We'll just zigzag that. Okay, you're going to zigzag? Yep, I am. Right there. Very good? Yep. So we zigzagged it, so we have kind of a finished seam. Like that. So now you can see our fish kind of the top of him coming in. Oh yeah. Cute. And so this is kind of the hard part. When you put the little tape measure piece in, okay, um, you put the little electrical tape on it so that it doesn't go through yours. I also rounded the edges of mine just a little bit because it has with a really your magical sharp edge. Scissors? Yes, with my magical non-sewing scissors. <laughs> These are not fabric scissors. Yes. So we did that, and then your measuring tape, if you're using it, I guess I bought it you brand new. You used a lot. I know. I made three fish. Okay. And one cut. Well, actually, I think I did another one. There's I think one we cut. Home. I think we cut a half of one, and then there's these ones. So there's four fish off of there. So um, I think that we found that most measuring tapes were metal and magnetic. Other oh. things are not. So that was why 
he he got these lips is because he needed to be oh, magnetic. So magnetic um, for the but, fish pond. Yes, but there were different widths on your fish on your measuring tapes. So in the pattern, it the pattern kind of shows it for a half inch because that's what this one is. But I know some of them are a little bit wider. They're three quarters. If you get a really big bulky one. Um, it could be an inch. So know that in the pattern, okay. that's why you might adjust it is because of this width yeah. on your measuring tape. So it kind of explains that in the check pattern. Check your yeah, check. width. Yes. So when we put this in, you can see that this has kind of got like a con concave. concave. Yep, concave. And you want the part that goes up. So this part. So it goes like this. Yes, the curve. Yep, so the curve is going to go towards the top and the bottom of the fish, not the inside of his mouth. So. So on this guy, this is the curve going this way. Mm -hmm. Yep, so. We're just gonna put that in there. And then this one is ready to go. Okay, so it's all done. <laughs> Kenzie says no, no before, before you, you sew. sew. Good job. Absolutely, right. Kenzie. <laughs> and in the instructions, this was the part where I had a hard time figuring out how to say it. Because sometimes so you can sew. You wanted to yes. explain yes. it more fully. Yes. Okay. Sometimes you can sew things, but then to type it out and be like, you got that right? Yeah. It gets confusing. So, um, and I think I had you put this down first. So this is the one you'd actually be doing it to. You'd put it down so his fin was up. And then you're going to lay his two fins where you want them. So out to the side. And then just flip them towards the middle and secure them. So you can pin them or you can do a little eighth inch seam or whatever. So on mine, because of how I wanted them on here, they go a little bit past this. Um, on the yellow fish, mine lined up perfectly. I just, his fins were down a little bit farther. So it just is up to you guys. So there are pictures in the pattern of this step. There are pictures. There are pictures. So, and if you have any questions, feel free to ask me because we can help you out. So um, those are on there. And then this is going to lay, so always right sides together. This is going to be the right side because his little fins are there. This, this is, is the his right, right, yep, side, the right side the because the fin, is, fin there. is there. And we're going to sew those together. But before we do it, we need to put in the... Put in the tape measure. Yep. And so at this point, both of the bump, bumps up are going to be touching. Okay. So curved piece to curve. Yes. Concave, yes. Curve to concave. I keep checking curve. the fish. I'm like, you're like, wait, is that don't right? Don't want to mess that this right? part up. Okay. And when I sewed this, I pushed these over just a little bit so I didn't catch them in my sewing machine, and then I pushed it way back over the other way when I sewed the other side. Oh, good call. So these are kind of curved, and they're just a little bit different, but they will like line up because this is going to come bulk up. So just make sure to line up your side seams and you're just going to sew down mm -hmm. into the bottom. Not this the part, very yep, end. Not the very end. This part will be left open. Leave the end for the tail. Yep. That will be for the tail. So let's sew. Do you want to read some comments why I sew this? Well. Well. Well, yes. that's funny. Huh? Well. Whale, not whale. <laughs> and that says, I think I broke at least three needles before I decided to cut the tape measure a little bit shorter. <laughs> yeah, your needle's not going to want to go through the no, tape measure. it will not. And I hate that sound. Um, speaking of uh, written directions, um, Candy says, yes, I used to teach classes at a sewing machine store near me. Writing directions is hard. And then she also said, showing someone is also easier, always yes. easier. So that's for the beauty of a uh, video. The name of the quilt behind us, you remember the name? I'm just going to step out for all your sewing. I should be showing you. Hold on. I'm just going to ask Debbie. 
Okay. So you can see that we sewed that side and we have kind of those things that hang over. Once again, we're going to trim those off and we're going to zigzag that edge because you want kind of a What's nice that? finished. It is chandelier. Good job, Kenzie. Oh, I was going to sing it. Oh. Yes, it is chandelier. Let's hear you sing it. I want to swing. Do you guys know that song? From the chandelier. Do you know that song? Yeah, I do. It is. Wrecking Balls was more. <laughs> <laughs> what? Did it sound like I was no. wrecking ball? <laughs> Just whenever I think of swing, oh. I always think of. I came in like a wrecking ball. <laughs> um, There goes Johnny. Somebody said that um, if me and you are the bus leader, they might need file folders. <laughs> Do you know what that means, Johnny? I, I, I've gathered as much. I wanted to bring Chris some of those because of her trip to the airport. Did you break a needle? No, it just the thread like broke. Oh, the thread broke. Sorry. Um... It couldn't be a three and three without Johnny leaving Sherry at some point. <laughs> He's always stepping oh, out on me. Oh, <laughs> Barb. I'm surprised Christy didn't leave that comment. Christy, are you there? Are you awake? Everything okay? Missed a good Johnny Dig moment. You guys? <laughs> it's because we love him, all right? Joanne says, are you having party games? At the Tug Tea Party, all Tug attendees can bring a sewn fish with a prize inside, <laughs> which are then placed in a non-water-filled kiddie pool. Ah, oh, that, that is a good idea. We'll pass those around. Pass we that along. We actually do have a, a game in mind, but it's not that. We have a game in mind? Mm -hmm. Again, Remember, Johnny. no details. Johnny None. not on the planning committee for that one. Okay. So you can see we zigzagged that edge. We're going to do the same on the other side. So... Now that this is sewn, I pushed these all the way over so that I have a little bit of room to work with. Good job. Okay, you can read comments. You're and pushing. Talk. Yep. Um, <laughs> Candy says she didn't know what file folders were <laughs> before Tug. That's funny. I don't know the file folders reference, I guess. I'll wait. It's fine. Let's not talk about it. <laughs> we kind of poop chat for one day. Um, with a discount inside the fish. Oh, there you Barb go. Barb also says she definitely only teases those that you care about. That's right. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. Pat says she likes my shirt. Thank you. Isn't that so cute? It's little hummingbirds. I got it at TJ Maxx. Did I tell you I wrote a song for it? For your shirt? Yeah. No, let's hear it. Hey, Dave, I bought you this shirt at TJ Maxx. I think you should get one so we can match. You know my friend Dave, right? No. Have I my friend Dave? But did you buy him the shirt? No. <laughs> I wrote a song for my friend Dave. So I have this friend Dave, and he's the one that I write songs with. So I wrote this song. Are you ready? Hey, Dave, I just saw this shirt at TJ Maxx. I think you should get one so we can match. You've always had class and you've always had style. With your band of magic, we can go for miles and miles and miles and miles and miles. Did Dave buy a shirt? No. <laughs> Bryce says, Johnny, why have you made your own shirt? Bryce, let's just be honest. Um... <laughs> I don't know. He made half, I've bought he a, lot made of, half a coat. <laughs> I don't even know where that is. What? I don't know where what? it is. I can't find my quilt coat. No. Um, I bought a lot of fabric for making a shirt. I just bought some tulip pink, actually. Mm. Anyway, sorry. We're very digressed today. I apologize. But Sherry's sewing. Sewing, sewing. Um, shirts are not quilts. You're very right. I'm very proud that I can sew a straight line. And with shirts, you have to do more than that. Okay. Okay, sorry. Back to this. All Back right. to the fish. So there I you apologize. Go. This is your top yep. of the fish. This is the top the of, the fish. of the fish. Yep. There's the top so you can see where his little fin was put in. So you can see how that makes it. So he's a little bit puffier on top. And then 
that. So now you should still have an opening here. This is for the tail. Okay. So your tail is going to go in. And then I found that I liked my tail towards the top more because when he sits, like it kind of kind of goes like that. Right. But if you take it to the top, it's a little bit less. And it also makes it like tip up just a little bit. So you take it like that, but this is just a little bit longer than that tail piece. So I just did some like little pin tucks. So Not this pin tucks, one just kind of tucked him up. Little gathers. Yeah. So this one is an example of you raise it up a little bit. Yes. This one is an example of not being raised as much, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. But this has to be on the inside of your fish. I was just showing you because it's easier to see that. Oh, right. <laughs> so don't do that. I just thought that I'm like, oh, wait, they're going to think that. So the tail goes on the inside. Now this one, well, we wanted to do something a little different. So this one. Did you say whale? Well, Sorry. we're going to try to change him. You're going to change him up? Yeah. Okay. We're going to make him a whale. Okay. How are you going to do that? Well, which ways, which way does a tail go on a whale? Oh, a whale has a different tail. <laughs> it's a whale of a tail. Kenzie says, can you flip it your own? <laughs> That's kind of funny comments. Can you flip it the other way? Is that what you're, that's what you're saying? Yes. She is flipping it horizontally. Mm -hmm. So this is a vertically. Um, this is the fishy way. This is the fishy way. And a whale will be a horizontal way. And I think oh. a shark. Isn't a shark that way? Kenzie might be able to tell us that. No, sharks are the other way. Are they? Oh, they're because they're fish. Fish are friends, not food. <laughs> I like this comment. Heidi says, you can buy shirts. <laughs> you can. But not out of cool quilting fabric. Someone said, do we sell tulip pink? Yes, we do sell tulip pink in our stores. We do have occasionally tulip pink um, bundles, bundles and kits. Yeah. But we just got in Tiny Beasts at the Sandy store. I don't know if they got them at the... Oh, Kathy says, we do have some Tulip Pink in the stores. We just got Tiny Beasts as well as all of the new um, basics. I don't know what they are. Sorry. I'm eating your fish. It's all right. Kenzie says, sharks have vertical fins, but dolphins are horizontal. I remember that now. So you could make it a dolphin. Have you ever held a dolphin at those I dolphin retreats? I got to swim with the dolphins. Fun. In Mexico. I've never been to Mexico. Never been we, on a cruise. Um, we do need the, the, the girlfriend cruise. Tug cruise? Tug on the water. <laughs> the tugboat. <laughs> tugboat. Tugboat. Hey, Chris. <laughs> so, so once again, I just did a straight line, and we're going to zigzag the edge. He's gone. He's gone tugboat. again. <laughs> Chris is in. Chris is in. Chris is in the tugboat. <laughs> um. Oh, you guys. <sighs> Kathy. There he goes again, you guys. <laughs> Gone again. Oh, my gosh. Well, Chris is just right there, so it's fun to, like, you, you know. Can, you can hear her. Teaser. Um, <laughs> Tamnera. Is it Tamnera? Tamnera. Tamnera. How do you say your name? That's a pretty name. She's going to make three at three fun. Oh, thanks, yeah. Tamnara. All right. So that's kind of what he looks like. So on so this cute. one, I had to kind of bunch him up because we're, we're doing this one different. You'll just do it the other way, not this way. So here we go. You ready for the I'm well? I'm ready for the reveal. You pop him open. <laughs> and then. Clicky. Clicky. Clicky fishy. He's clicky, not colicky. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, look at the whale. That is really adorable, actually. Oh, my gosh. You're so cute. 
And he's got his little white belly. And then you just, did you hand sew those buttons on? I did. The, for his eyes? I hand sewed them, but I know you guys are big into hot glue. You could hot glue them. However you want to. If you wanted could to, machine yeah, if you wanted, button. If, if you, you wanted to machine them before you put them together, you could. But sometimes, sometimes I think that's when they get their personality. And I like to see this before I put them on. I'm just throwing up random comments yeah, about you? Tiny Beasts and Tiny things beast. in the store. Do Sorry. you like that line? It's cute. I, I briefly mm. saw it. I haven't looked at it a lot. Sorry. <laughs> <clears throat> We're going to go back to a few comments. Brenda says, those are cute. Yes, they are. Mm -hmm. Bryce says, clicky fish. Mm -hmm. For tiny Look. kids, I would embroider them. Nice. Oh, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. Yeah, that's cute. 